Hi, uh, we're excited to present for you today the second portion of our video looking at exercises you can do before and during your uh, diagnosis of breast cancer. I'm of course here with Chris Costa, our personal fitness trainer, and also Ms. Sheria, our office assistant, and she's going to uh, demonstrate some exercises that we can, uh, we can do during that diagnosis. Hi, one of the most important things that you need to keep in mind when you have breast cancer is that a lot of tightness occurs in your upper portion of your body. So one of the things that I'm going to show you today is some, one of the things I'm going to show you today are stretches that you can do to, to loosen up the upper portion of your body. One of the things that you can use is a basic towel from your home and I'm just going to give it to Macharia and put it in the back here and if you can turn to the side and what you want to do is just pull your shoulders back a little bit so that you can get a good stretch in your upper shoulder area. This area in particular, even before you have surgery can really tighten up. So what you want to do is just take your right ear over towards your right shoulder with your hands back this way. Okay, so if you can just take your right ear over towards your right shoulder, what this is doing is stretching out your neck at the same time as it's stretching out your shoulders. Now if you can take it over to the left. And we probably want to hold these stretches for about 30 to 60 seconds. 30 seconds is a long time, but if you can, the longer you can hold it, the better. So the second stretch that I want to show you today is still using the towel and what we're going to do is put it back here again behind and I'm going to have Macharia just bend over at the waist nice and easy and if you have tightness in your hamstrings you probably want a slight bend in your knee and the goal of this is to try to over time get a little bit further back so you can stretch out your shoulder blades. Again holding about 15 to 30 seconds. If the more you get used to the exercise, you can hold it longer from about 30 to 60 seconds. The most important thing to remember is also to breathe during these stretches, in through the nose and out through the mouth. Okay, the next stretch that we're going to show is a stretch for the front portion of your shoulders. So I'm going to give Macharia the towel here and I'm going to have you bring your arms straight out. And I just want you to kind of move to the right, stretching out your side and shoulder, and then just move a little bit to the left just to loosen up your sides. The next stretch we're going to show is for the upper shoulder area called the traps and what we're going to have Macharia do is take the towel, extend your arms out like we did earlier, I want you to raise up as high as you can and I even want you to push it past your head a little bit to stretch underneath also down here and just hold it, take a deep breath in. Now I want you to lean over to the right a little bit getting the sides of the body and then back to the other side. Back to center. Another stretch that you can do, you can use your door at home. So Macheri, I'm gonna have you back up just a little bit and you're gonna take your hands up to the sides of the inside of the door. And what I want you to do is I want you to take a big step forward leaning through. What this is going to do is loosen up the pec muscles right here which can get very tight for people that have breast cancer. So we want to hold it there for a few minutes, take a deep breath in. And then you just want to switch sides. So if you can just switch sides for me, meaning just switching the other foot in front. Another stretch for the pec area right here is if you put your hands down a little bit lower in the door frame and take another step through, a little bit of a bigger step this time, usually you can get a, no a little bit lower on the pecs. And come back, switching to the other side. And come back. And with any of these stretches, you want your goal is to try to increase your time that you can stay in that stretch as time goes by. Mm -hmm. 
The next stretch that I'm going to show you is a really important stretch. It, it does a couple of different things. It will stretch out your lower body, but it also stretch out your pecs as well. So I'm going to have Macheria lie down on her back. Okay, and I'm going to have you take your arms out to the side. Good, and the other one as well. And let's put palms up. There you go. What you want to do is you want to bend your left leg first. It really doesn't matter what side you start on. We're just starting on the left. And you want to twist your lower body so that your leg comes up and over, okay, and just holding it here. So this is where you're getting the stretch for the lower back. Now here's the pec right here, and this is the stretch you're getting for the, the chest muscles. So a very important thing to do to get good flexibility up in the pec, whether it's before or after surgery, is to do what we call a windshield wiper effect. So very slowly you want to go down here towards your body. And then you're going to slowly come back up, all the way up overhead. Now sometimes it's hard, and you, if you can't get overhead, that's okay. But eventually you want to try to work yourself up to overhead. Come back down again. And you could start with a set of five if you wanted to, and you can work up from there. It, the key is to take it nice and slowly, and just go to whatever range of motion feels comfortable for you. Okay, now we're going to just switch to the other side. Right knee would come up. You're going to twist the right knee over the body. Good. And windshield wiper effect with the right arm. Slowly down. And back up. Now depending on which side you've had your surgery, um, if it's not both sides, then I would say just continue to do both sides though. It's very important to stretch out both sides.